Woohoo! Here it is. The uh, second generator. So we're going to open this one up and see if it works. Curious about that though. Add oil before first use. Yes, of course. We will do that. Let me get my chair. And we'll take the cover panel off. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some of my quart of oil in here. There we are be about right. And we'll go ahead and fill up the crankcase with oil. Okay, that's got it. But there we go. You don't want to cross thread this thing, that's for sure. Next, some gasoline. All right, some gasoline in here. Oops. So let's, when you pump this, this uh, bulb here to get the fuel up to the carburetor, uh, you need to make sure that the fuel selector switch is in the on position. If it's in the off position, it won't pump. We've got the fuel on, we've got the um, choke on. Got the uh, economy off, power on. So I think that's it. I think we're ready to give this thing a pull and see if it'll start. right now about half throttle, uh, half choke. Uh, 
uh, I'm thrilled. I'm, ex I'm so excited, I don't know what to say. It runs. <laughs> um, so, uh, next step is to see if it will power the AC in the van. That'll be exciting. Okay, here's, here is the generator in kind of close quarters. Kind of loud, but there it is, running. And uh, pretty much in the position I'm going to keep it when it's out in use. So, good news folks, we're inside of the van, and I'm going to do a little close-up on the panel. We are at, the, the air conditioner is on, the compressor is running, and we're on high fan, and this thing is cooling very nicely. I still don't have the ducts in, so it's not doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing but it's doing a pretty good job it's good for a test anyway to know that yes this air conditioner and that little generator for under 400 bucks can give you a nice cool environment to be in when the days are hot and sticky so there you have it <laughs> that's it it took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but uh, I was confident it would work, and in fact, it does. It's very much right on the hairy edge, but it does work, and that's all I need. So, the one uh, caveat I would put in is that the... Uh, fan needs to be in the uh, low cool position the temperature needs to be at one where the compressor is not on and then gently ramp up the compressor until it clicks on if you try and do it with the compressor set to be on and the fan being on at the same time um, it's too big of a load so it needs to be have the fan running and then apply the load of the compressor and done in that order it starts and works uh, so here we are I'm in the van uh. <laughs> Uh, the generator is buzzing along the air conditioner is air conditioning it's nice and cool in here uh, <laughs> it works one last thing to note is I put a kilowatt on the connection I used to connect the air conditioner and hopefully you can see that it runs between 70 and 60 watts now the important thing about that is if all you've got is 700 watts to work with 60 watts can be a deal breaker so I'm going to make a dedicated connector plug the air conditioner into that outlet and plug an extension cord from the generator to that outlet 
so that it runs uh, solely by itself. When the air conditioner and generator are running, there's no other drain, uh, parasitic drain like there is here with this 60, 70 watts. Um, I think that'll help the performance of the generator, maybe let it run a little slower. So there you have it. Um, it's, uh, you know, right on the edge, but it does work. So um, that's it for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, share it if you'd like to. Please subscribe. I really appreciate everybody that does. And comment as you see fit. Talk to you later. So long.